new evidence has been unearthed by astronomers that contradicts the traditional cosmological paradigm. They believe they have found a viable alternative to dark matter that may help explain one of the universe's greatest unanswered questions. There's a new theory in town, and it's called AQUAL, and it suggests that there's a chance dark matter doesn't exist. Scientists modified Newtonian gravity in order to rotation curves of galaxies should correspond to observations. In addition to possibly fixing a mistake from the 1920s, their findings may provide fresh perspectives on gravity's most fundamental principles. But what occurred nine decades ago to alter cosmology forever? To what end do physicists designing a new explanation for gravity? Ultimately, the most crucial point is that is there a way this fresh perspective on the cosmos can improve our knowledge of the universe? Being a key component of the conventional cosmological model, dark matter cannot be ignored. It's a make-believe substance that scientists think accounts for 27% of the visible cosmos. The yet, since dark matter does not interact with electromagnetic radiation, it is challenging to detect. Be able to see or feel clearly, to notice immediately. Alternatively, we can infer its presence from the consequences of its gravity. On what can be seen, what can be radiated, and what the cosmic big picture looks like. Not even the SM can particle physics, dark matter is not represented by any known elementary particle. Although while researchers are convinced in dark matter's existence, they have yet to fully explain it. Behavior and characteristics. The team's objective is to produce a final hypothesis that fully describes its characteristics. Understanding the origins of dark matter is crucial to comprehending AQUAL. Into the fold, there, there. In 1933, a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky spotted something was lacking in the cosmos. As a result of his research on groups of galaxies, he came to that the observed mass of matter did not add up to the entire mass of the galaxy cluster. Determined by observing the relative velocity of galaxies bound together by gravity. An anomaly in the coma cluster was uncovered by him. Zwicky determined the weight of the observation of the coma cluster's periphery has revealed new information about the cluster's structure. And then he compared it to the mass based on how numerous and how luminous the galaxies in the cluster are. It was clear that the two numbers were not equivalent. This means that a previously unknown form of matter, which he dubbed dark matter, was proven through his research. Vera Rubin, an American astronomer, provided support for his research by analyzing the rotation curves of galaxies. The rotation curve of a galaxy is a plot of the radial velocities of its stars and gas. Galaxy versus how far away they are from the galactic core. The arc of a rotation curve for our this is what our solar system looks like. The typical rate of rotation for planets in there diminishes as their mean distance from the sun grows larger. Therefore, a planet's orbital speed decreases with increasing distance from the sun. In a mathematical sense, the speed of an orbit is proportional to the square root of its radial distance from the sun. When Rubin and her co-worker Kent Ford looked at the stars in the rules were ignored by the galaxies. It's rather the reverse, in fact. Nearly every famous star galaxies at greater distances rotate faster around the common center. These galaxies' outer regions were found to be revolving at the same rate as the rest of the galaxy, or speeding up toward the center, which goes against the expected distribution observable stuff throughout the cosmos. This might have happened only if there was a substantial to the existence of invisible substance throughout the universe's galaxies. They also called it dark matter, like Zwicky did. More and more supporting evidence for dark matter has emerged over time. To begin with, in the 80s, supported by observations of gravitational lensing of background objects by galaxy clusters the existence of unknown or unobservable stuff. Then, measurements of the cosmic microwave background were taken in the 1990s. The creation of the universe's large-scale structure suggested the existence of dark matter, and must be out there in the cosmos. More specifically, these observations demonstrated that the universe is significantly clustered and filamentous than would be expected from merely visible materials. Despite the fact that dark matter has a rock-solid foundation in contemporary cosmology, there is a major issue. The nature of dark matter is a mystery to scientists. Previously said, dark matter is not composed of any standard model particles. We are still looking for evidence of these particles. Many potential dark matter candidates have postulated, some of which include weakly interacting massive particles, massive compact halo objects, and axions. And neutrinos that don't contaminate anything, to this day, researchers at the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider, including CRESST, Lux Zeppelin, and the Axion Dark Matter Detector, have provided evidence of the existence of dark matter. The Xenon Dark Matter Experiment, and the Dark Energy Survey's Dark Matter Maps. However, no results have been seen in any of these tests as of yet. Hence, it's only natural to wonder is it possible that dark matter does not exist? What if there's a hole in our reasoning here?
By the force of gravity itself, numerous research groups are actively looking for light-based solutions to replace dark matter. The modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, is one such alternative. It requires adjusting Newtonian gravity such that it fits the rotation curves of galaxies. Considering the extensive testing and validation of Newton's laws for high acceleration systems like the Mordi High Milgram suggested MOND in 1983, and it was a major step toward a unified solar gravity's force law was tweaked to account for the absence of acceleration. This hypothesis presupposes the existence of a critical acceleration, below which a change from from the MOND regime to Newtonian dynamics. A unified theory was developed from this concept. Built in 1984 by Milgram and Jacob Bekenstein, Named after the initials of, aquatic quality and use assessment, it's a Lagrangian with four variables. Because of this hypothesis, Newtonian gravity has been updated from its classical Lagrangian with a generic function and the threshold acceleration term. The Lambda Cold Dark Matter, LCDM, model is now the most popular theory in cosmology. Therefore, let's see how this theory differs from the AQUAL1. For every galaxy, there are two crucial segments of its rotation curve the inner one, which is an upward sloping line, and the outer one, which is marginally higher and approaching saturation. These components reflect stellar motion in the galaxy's inner and outer reaches. According to the LCDM model, dark matter is responsible for the observed rotation curves of galaxies. Inner and outer rotational arcs should be taken into account when distributing matter. Curve. But AQUAL contends that the galactic dynamics are responsible for the change solves the problem of the rotation curves inner and outer regions differing from one another. The curve's slight slant is caused by a shift in velocity distribution amongst the stellar motions on the inside and outside. That's the key distinction between LCDM and AQUAL. Here's where KH Che's latest research comes in. The primary emphasis was on the dissimilarities both the inner and outer segments of the rotation curves can be explained by modified gravity and dark matter, respectively. His research involved analyzing data from the Spitzer Photometry and Accurate Positioning Satellite for 152 galaxies. Spark database or rotation curves. His goal was to find theoretic discriminating between dark matter and reformulated gravity as a real possibility. Che read extensively in order to achieve this goal. Statistical correlation between the centripetal acceleration of moving particles and their speed as well as the Newtonian acceleration predicated on the distribution of baryonic matter across the galaxies. Baryonic matter is equivalent to the stars and dust in the universe. Dark matter models had more variation than the spark data. The spark data for the 152 galaxies used in this paper provided stronger evidence for AQUAL than for LCDM. It was only when he applied a cosmic mean external field to the AQUAL both the inner and outer portions of the rotation curves are accurately predicted by modified gravity. This research has provided a thorough evaluation of AQUAL's ability to deliver novel discoveries about the forces of gravity. Nonetheless, despite the promising findings, AQUAL is not without its flaws. Since it does not account for all of the observed gravitational lensing by galaxies. Contrast that with this analysis is a critical stage in learning about the theory's benefits. Potentially, if only one of the greatest mysteries in all of cosmology and astrophysics can be explained by making little adjustments to Newtonian gravity. Lately, scientists have created an artificial black hole that begins to glow. They were able to have a better knowledge of thanks to the results of this investigation. The Hawking Effect. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our future uploads.